all doing so let's start the today's session today's topic from science has been taken from class 6 so here's the topic the topic is food chain we will be learning about food chain that is we will be knowing what is a food chain concept and the importance of food chain in our ecosystem before we go to the topic let's try to understand that where does we all get our food from that is what is the source maybe the animals we human beings how does we get our food let us try to understand this thing for that we need to watch the video please listen to the video very carefully lucky man can you give a bite to me if I tell you something about pizza and food, would you give a piece? Okay, tell me, do you know where all food comes from? Wow, you are right. We humans get all our food from animals and plants. So we have seen in the video that the sources from where we get our food are the plants and animals. How are these plants and animals connected to food chain? Let's understand this thing. Starting off with producer. It is a term that we use in food chain. Now let's understand what are producer. Producers are the organism who make or produce their own food. We all know that plants make their own food with the help of the process called photosynthesis. And this is the reason plants are also called as autotropic. Which means that they self feed. That is they feed by themselves through the process of photosynthesis and this is the reason the plants are the first energy source for primary consumer and all the food chain on this ecosystem starts with the producers that is plants we have seen and we understood about the producer one of an important term of related to food chain now let us understand what are consumer Consumer in a food chain are living creatures that eat organism from a different population and therefore they are called as heterotroph because these organism that is the consumer obtain energy from the other living thing. Unlikely we have seen that plants are called autotrophs because they produce or they self feed. They doesn't depend on any other organism. So we are clear about the producer and consumer till here. Let's move on further and watch the video for detailed understanding. So plants make their own food. All other species like animals and we humans are dependent on plants. Now see, a giraffe is coming. It is eating the plant. Species who only eat plant are called herbivores. Oh, what is happening? A lion is coming. Oh, it is attacking the giraffe. Oh, it has killed the giraffe and is eating it. Species which eat other animals are called carnivores. So in the video we have seen the giraffe was feeding on the plant. And the lion come and he hunts and he eat up the giraffe. What is this whole activity of consuming the food? This, these are the consumer. Here in this activity the giraffe and the lion are the consumer. Now consumer are divided into or can be classified into various types on the basis of the kind of food that they intake. First one are the herbivores. Let us start with herbivores and try to understand what are herbivores and how they are different and what are their feeding habits. So a herbivore is an animal that gets its energy from eating plants and they feed only on plant therefore they are also called as plant eater herbivore need a lot of energy to stay alive because they feed only on plants so they need a lot of energy to stay alive many of the animals around us like giraffe cow goat sheep buffalo these all are herbivores because they are plant eating animals they just eat plant so 
to have the equilibrium in the ecosystem and for the sustenance of these herbivores we need a lot of plants in our ecosystem so that they can feed on so we have understood about the herbivores herbivores are the species that feed or that intake only plants and this is the reason they are called as plant eating animals let's move on we have seen the other activity that was done that is the lion was killing the giraffe and he was feeding on the giraffe what are these kind of animal or the species known as these are known as carnivores let us understand or define carnivore a carnivore is an animal that gets its energy from eating flesh or animal tissues and therefore they are also called as flesh eating animals it is an animal that gets food from killing and eating other animals carnivores are the animals which feed on other living organism they kill them and then they eat them therefore they are called as flesh eating animals because they only feed on animal tissues or on the flesh of other living organisms and majorly carnivores generally feed on herbivores so this is the concept about carnivores i hope we are clear till here let's move on further so we have understood about plants that is they are our, they are producer in the food chain we understood about giraffe they are herbivore and the lion they are carnivore giraffe and the lion they both are consumer because they are consuming their food from other living organism therefore they are divided into different level of consumer as giraffe comes at the primary level or at the first level so it is called as primary consumer and the lion lion comes at the second level so they are called as secondary consumer so in this food chain we saw the producer who prepare their food and the lion and the giraffe though these consume the other living organism they cannot prepare their own food so this series or the sequence of in taking the energy or nutrient from the other living organism is called as food chain let us define it a food chain shows how each living thing gets food and how nutrients and energy are being passed from creature to creature food chain is nothing but passing on of energy and nutrients from one creature to another creature majorly all the food chain start with plant life that is producer our plants because they prepare their own food and it always ends with the animal life that are consumer those consume other living organism for their feeding habit let's move on further let's try to understand what are the simple food chain a simple food chain is a food chain which have these major components first one our producer the living being that make their own food with with the help of a process called photosynthesis that are our plants then the major requirement is the primary consumer the organism at the first level that consume the plant or that depend on the plant for their feeding habit are called as primary consumer and they are majorly herbivores all the organisms that feed on plant will be herbivores then the second level comes the secondary consumer these consumer or these organism eat the primary consumer that is the herbivore the meat and therefore they are called as the meat eater or flesh eating animals so secondary consumer consume the primary consumer which are majorly herbivores carnivore consumes the herbivores 
but there is one more important component in this food chain that are decomposer what are decomposer let us try to understand this thing when the lion in this food chain that is the secondary consumer dies it decomposes in in the soil and this decomposition or the process of decomposition is being carried out by the fungi and bacteria that is present in the soil which decomposes the dead body in the soil and thus it changes into the nutrients and then these nutrients are being used by the plant for their food preparation with the help of photosynthesis so we have seen the four major components of any simple food chain producer primary consumer secondary consumer and the decomposers let us take one more example of simple food chain in this food chain the rat eats the nut which is the fruit of a tree or a plant then this rat is being eaten by the snake which is eaten by the eagle the snake is eaten by the eagle now when the eagle dies it get decomposed by the decomposer present in the soil that are our fungi and bacteria these bacteria and fungi decompose the dead body in the soil and which turns it into nutrients and these nutrients are later on being used by the plant for their food preparation so this is the cycle of food chain that runs in our ecosystem which balance the intake and passing of the energy and nutrients from one level to the other so what we have seen we have seen a simple food chain where we have one producer one primary consumer one secondary consumer and a decomposer in both the examples we have seen that there were consumer there were producer and there was a decomposer so this is a simple food chain but is that so the food chain all the various food chain that are running in our ecosystem are simple let us check out this is a figure this is a figure where we can see multiple food chain are running at the same time or multiple food chain are active at the same time this figure or this construction of complex food chain is called as food web let us try to understand what a food web here the food web we can see the rat it can be eaten by the cat and it can be also eaten by the snake at the same time and our green plant or the producer which can be eaten by the goat and which can also be eaten by the rabbit so we have seen that on one component two component or two organism can feed on so this multiple running of food chain which are active at the same time forms a web like complex structure and this complex web structure is called as food web because why do we call it food web why do we term it as web because the construction of this image or this uh, picture becomes like a spider web it is similar to like a spider web so therefore we term it as food web so we are clear till here we understood that food web is a complex structure where we see more than one food chain running at the same time or we can say multiple food chain are running at the same time now let's do the quick recap of what all things we have learned today we'll got to know what are the various sources where we get our food that is plants and animals we understood about producer the importance of producer in the food chain we got to know the consumer what are consumer and their importance and their role in the food chain and we also understood how we can 
classify consumer on the basis of their eating habit that is herbivores and carnivores then we understood the major important components of the food chain what are the major components that make up the food chain and when these multiple food chain run at the same time or are active at the same time then this complex structure is called as food web passing of energy and nutrients from one organism to the other is called as food web when we have the multiple food chain so that's all for the day i hope you might have enjoyed this session and uh, you thank you for watching my video and if you have any other topic on what you want me to prepare the video please do comment below in the comment box and i hope you are loving it please do subscribe my youtube channel so that you are notified about the topics that will be posted in the upcoming days or in the future related to science and maths till we meet next thank you stay home stay safe